So we've talked about Jean-Claude Van Damme's kickboxer before and how much it's a disappointment, how much it kind of sucks. Well, let's talk about one of the reasons why it does suck. Kumite, 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 Kumite. Hey everybody, what's going on? Today we are going to be talking about a movie that I love. Yes, this movie might be quite cheesy, but... But darn it, I love it all the same. Today, we are going to be talking about 1988's Bloodsport, starring Jean-Claude Van Damme. As I said in the intro, uh, I don't like Kickboxer very much. Uh, one of the main reasons, one of many reasons, is that Kickboxer is, uh, even though it stars Van Damme, is the poor man's Bloodsport. It tries so hard to be Bloodsport. Bloodsport is... Uh, to this day, uh, my favorite Van Damme movie, and I've liked him in a few things, but this one is my favorite Van Damme movie, and uh, I will warn you, there will be spoilers in this review. Uh, I believe Cinemax has this. I don't have Cinemax. I own this movie, so that's how I watched it. But man, this movie, as cheesy as parts of it get, are well worth watching. This movie is so much fun. Uh, it's fun at its serious points. It's fun at its... Uh, cheesy points, and I'm going to talk to you why uh, this one worked while Kickboxer did not, uh, even though I did talk about that a little bit in my Kickboxer review, which you can see on the channel. Um, Bloodsport uh, is quote-unquote based on a true story. Now, I am not going to get into uh, the legend of Frank, I'm sorry, the legend of Frank Dukes. Um, Man, who, who knows, maybe this video will get taken down by Mr. Dukes. Uh, look, there's plenty of videos out there about the quote-unquote legend of Frank Dukes. Uh, do I believe it? No. Uh, but does it make for a fun movie? Sure. Uh, it does, because Bloodsport's a really fun movie, and I like it. And I know there's other Bloodsport movies. I've never seen the other ones. Maybe I'll have to visit, though, someday. I know... Uh, I know there's more, like three or four more, maybe even more, I don't know. But anyway, Bloodsport follows Frank Dukes, who is in the military, and he's going to go to Hong Kong to fight in this tournament, this Kumite tournament, which is a full contact tournament where all the really good fighters in the world go to prove who's the best. And this is full contact. Uh, this is why they call it Bloodsport Kid, is one of the... The character say because you get you're gonna get beat up and bloodied and people have died in this tournament, uh, and we do find out uh, how that happened and will it happen again? Well, we'll just have to wait and see. Um, so anyway, Duke's gonna go to this tournament, but uh, his military commander uh, found out that he was gonna go, uh, so they try to stop him. Yet he escapes. Uh, he goes to visit uh, the family of his Shidoshi, his master. Um, and he starts to remember his past, so we get the flashback. And here is one of the main reasons why Bloodsport is awesome and Kickboxer sucks. Kickboxer spent more than half the movie, I think, showing his training, right? Where this movie spends a little time, shows how he got to be uh, under the tutelage of his Shidoshi, uh, why his Shidoshi continued to train him after his son passed away, uh, and we get all that story within just wrapped up neat with a little bow to where we understand everything that's going on. And so we get to see all that, how he got to be where he is and how he's going to go to the Kumite to honor his Shidoshi. So he goes. Uh, while he's there, he meets uh, Donald Gibbs' character. Uh, that would be uh, Ogre from Revenge of the Nerds. Uh, he plays uh, Ray Jackson, who really is my favorite character in the movie. I mean, I, I love a lot of the characters in this movie. Uh, but he's just a big biker, brawler type, uh, who becomes fast friends with Frank Dukes. Uh, they are the, the two American fighters uh, that we know of, anyway. There's some others, because they do say there's more North American fighters. But uh, a lot of the fighters they show coming from around the world, uh, while they might be somewhat stereotypical, they're still very interesting. Uh, the main one we see is Chong Lee, uh, played by Bolo Yoon. Um, he, uh, is the main villain 
Uh, he's the one that killed somebody in the last Kumite, and he's the current current champion. Uh, and he uh, enters a rivalry with Frank Dukes right away when Frank Dukes does tricks with bricks. We'll just leave it at that. The death touch. It's it's one of the coolest scenes in the movie. Um, but there's also a colorful array of worldly uh, Street Fighter type characters. Uh, there's uh, this. I. I I assume he's from Africa, but he fights like a monkey, and he's just, he's like jumping around on all fours like a monkey and jumping up on people and chopping them. He's really cool. Uh, there's a sumo type fighter. Uh, the one that really sticks out with me uh, is the Muay Thai fighter Paco, uh, just because I like his fighting style. I've always thought this is where I really probably my first introduction to uh, Muay Thai kickboxing is through that character. I thought I always thought his look was cool. I love how he's using leg kicks and all that and, you know, his knees and everything else. And I love that character. But there's a colorful array of characters. Uh, again, it feels like something out of Street Fighter. And there's a tournament and everyone fights. And when you lose, you're gone kind of thing. So as the tournament's going on, there's also a side story of uh, Janice, the reporter. Uh, she's trying to cover the Kumite. Uh, of course, ends up, I, I, I wouldn't say falling in love with Frank Dukes, but has a thing with Frank Dukes. Uh, also, uh, you've got two U.S. agents. They don't really say where they come from, like what department, uh, but Norman Burton and Forrest Whitaker play these two characters, and they're after Frank Dukes, which actually leads to some of the more comedic uh, scenes. There's a whole chase scene where they're chasing uh, Van Damme around the city, and he's just, like, toying with them the entire time. And they're chasing him with their tasers, and it's kind of funny. Uh, but they have this whole tournament, and, of course, the finals end up being Chong Lee and Frank. And... Uh, they have, they have a fight and you know, it's how the movie goes. Um, but no, I love this movie because it, it sticks more to the action than the training action than the flashbacks. Is it cheesy? Yes. I mean, you have the cheesy chase scene, uh, even the last fight's kind of cheesy because, uh, Frank Dukes gets, uh, blinded because Chong Lee cheats and brings like a salt pellet in, but it's a good thing. He trained a blind fight with his master and it ends to a lot of moaning and crying and screaming uh, by Frank Dukes. You know, he, as I've said before, he does a yeah, 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 type sounds, right? And he does that a lot in this movie. But look, the fighting is fun in this movie. The characters are creative. Uh, there's a scene set up between Frank Dukes and another fighter at a bar that ends up in uh, that ends up in the on the in the in the fighting ring. I mean, there's just all sorts of cool characters. You just love seeing them, them interact with each other. There is a lot of montage fighting. Uh, but the big fights, like Van Damme's fights, or at least the majority of them, Chong Lee's fights and Ray Jackson's fights, we get to see. Uh, so we get to see how that goes. But, uh, yes, the movie is can be cheesy. But, yes, it's still a lot of fun. That's the point. This movie is fun. And, yes, based on a true story. Uh, but yeah, I just have a lot of fun with this movie. I can't recommend this movie enough. There's just really good fight scenes, fun characters. Uh, it's cheesy in all the right ways. Uh, I mean, is Van Damme's acting the greatest? No, I'm not saying he, but you know what? This is one of his better movies where he's more believable as the character. Um, just some movies I've seen him in. He's just, it's not the best actor, but when he does it right, he does it right. And in Bloodsport, he does it right. So yes. I highly recommend Bloodsport. I can't watch this movie enough. I've seen this movie I don't know how many times. And watching it again uh, yesterday was just as good then or now as it was then. So anyway, I highly recommend Bloodsport. Definitely check it out. Don't waste your time with Kickboxer. Watch this one instead. See you later.